What's up, everyone? This is the Chicago Sports Talk Michael here today with another video. The conspiracy theory, first one of my conspiracy theory. I think NFL fans, like most of the fans that I speak to on stream, kind of put quarterbacks on a very high pedestal. Like... People think that because Patrick Mahomes had a great he's Patrick Mahomes is probably the best young quarterback of all time coming out of the NFL draft. Like he has had a great career so far. You know, he has made it to the AFC championship and has made like three Super Bowl appearances. So you can't people think that, oh, why couldn't the Bears draft this quarterback to uh, help him develop. I guarantee you if Patrick Mahomes was drafted to a team like the Bears or maybe even the Giants, it's just a whole different Patrick Mahomes. Like you can't expect the same Patrick Mahomes. Like just be like at the end of the day, college doesn't matter. You could be very great in college. I've seen quarterbacks play great in college and they flame down in the NFL. Tim Tebow, Dwayne Haskins. But do you want to know why they never worked out? Because they were a high draft prospect who didn't go to ready-made teams. Joe Burrow went to a team who had studs from the very beginning. When they drafted Joe Burrow, they immediately drafted T. Higgins. And then the later year, they drafted Jamar Chase. I mean, yeah, their offensive line doesn't even doesn't look that good. And I understand that they made the Super Bowl. But at the end of the day, Burrow had studs like he always did at LSU. As far as Trevor Lawrence goes, you know, he had um, mid receivers and and won a weak conference. But they'll get better, in my opinion, in the Calvin Ridley uh, trade that they did. And now that Trevor has a full offseason with Calvin Ridley to prepare for the season. But – as far as NFL fans go, they always – like the, the pedestal is that if you're not as great as Patrick Mahomes, you're not as great as – well, I don't think anybody can be great as Brady. If you're not a Hall of Fame quarterback, if you can't carry the team even after they're worse, then you suck. Like quarterbacks are having – look – at the end of the day, let's not act like you can get a great quarterback like a Aaron Rodgers or Drew Brees, but it doesn't mean you're going to do anything with them. Drew Brees and Aaron Rodgers have had only had one Super Bowl. Matter of fact, I'll even throw Derek Carr into that territory, even though I'm not. I'm not thinking that Derek Carr is like all great in that, but he. But here's the thing: that Derek Carr, before like the era where he kind of fell off a bit, the 2016, the Raiders actually were a good team with Derek Carr. People don't people forget that that Derek Carr had some great stats with the Raiders, but the Raiders had no defense, and they're still going to have a losing record. You all, and to be honest with you, Mahomes went to a team that was. I wouldn't say that they were a horrible team, but they were a mid. They were pretty much a playoff contending team. People forget that the Kansas City Chiefs won the AFC West many times before they even sniffed Patrick Mahomes. They just couldn't get out of the first round. Like, are you kidding me? But you can't expect anything from these fans because they think. Obviously, Mahomes made them better. All, all the Chiefs needed was a quarterback that can be a generational talent. So that's that's just my thing, that NFL fans put these quarterbacks on a high. Like Jalen Hurts before Devon, like even before A.J. Brown, like you had people questioning Jalen Hurts' future on the Eagles. Like there were rumors of the Seattle Seahawks be close to trading Russell Wilson to the Eagles. Like, and they traded for A.J. Brown. What does uh, Jalen Hurts do? He uh, he does good with his weapons, and he goes to the Super Bowl. 
Josh Allen was labeled a bust before Stefan Diggs. So I've said that, said this before. Every quarterback needs their explosive weapon in order to succeed. You can't expect any young any quarterback to do better even with trash receivers. Would it surprise you if Kyler Murray didn't do well this year, losing DeAndre Hopkins? Would it surprise you? Did it also did it surprise you that Aaron Rodgers didn't do that good last year without Devontae Adams? It's because of the simple fact that you always need an explosive wide receiver one in order to put up points to to always be there for you, even at your worst, to always rely on, even in those clutch moments. Like Mahomes always had a great connection with Tyree Kill and Travis Kelsey. Like at the end of the day, folks, all these quarterbacks have always had a explosive player to win the Super Bowl. You can't just take away a star player and re- expect them to reduplicate the same logic. Like, I've seen quarterbacks when they lose their wide receiver, explosive receiver, and they don't do better because at the end of the day, football is a team sport. Games are not lost individually. They're lost by individ- uh, They're lost by a team sport. As much as I, Cam Newton was fun to watch, you know, I Cam Newton was very fun to watch in 2015. But do you want to know what the problem was Cam, for Cam Newton? Cam Newton did carry a bunch of scrubs, but at the end of the day, Cam Newton did like Cam Newton could have won more if he had a roster around him. But at the end of the day, folks, you have to realize that quarterbacks, yeah, they could be talented, but they also need a team around them to be successful and in infrastructures. And most of the quarterbacks, why they fail is they go to teams that are not well-made for them. Could Dwayne Haskins work out for the Steelers? I think so. If, because the Steelers are a well better organization than the, than the Redskins at the time. I believe that, but that's just me. But let me know what you think in the comment section down below. As always, thank you for watching and hit the subscribe button. If you, uh, agree with this theory or not as always thank you for watching